helping out the train. Yes. The Crest family. In Rockport. In Rockport, Texas. This Uh, disaster studies, in a general sense, is the study of human behavior and disasters. Uh, so we might ask, uh, why do people respond to warnings? What motivates them to prepare for disasters like hurricanes or earthquakes? And what leads them to mitigate or not mitigate um, natural and technological hazards to protect themselves and their communities? My name is William Donner. I am an associate professor in the Department of Sociology and Anthropology, and I am program coordinator for the master's degree in disaster studies. So the disaster program um, is actually really two programs, uh, a non-thesis track and a thesis track. The non-thesis track is especially for students who uh, want to pursue careers in emergency management. So they want to be emergency management specialists, mitigation specialists, they want to work with for, for FEMA, for state or local government. Uh, and so the emphasis of the program is on applied coursework and principles of emergency management, mitigation, preparation, and vulnerability, but also a series of internships with local and state emergency managers so they can apply that, that general knowledge in a, in a concrete work setting. So the thesis route is for students who are interested in doing research. Uh, it's also for students who are interested in joining PhD programs in public health, in sociology and also more broadly in emergency management. Uh, my name is Josue La Cruz and I'm a first year grad student in the Disaster Studies program at UTRGV. Uh, the classes are flexible. A lot of the classes are offered online. Uh, I myself am a working individual, so they also offer traditional courses after the hours of uh, the normal working hours. So that fit into my schedule very well. So the um, vast majority of the courses, or about 80% of the courses, are presently online. Um, so we've applied courses like Principles of Emergency Management and Disasters in Society that kind of really focus on teaching the students what emergency managers do and what they're expected of and what their role is within their institutions. Um, but then we have courses that uh, might appeal to students who are more interested in research, statistics, research methods, um, environmental sociology, classes like that that really um, allow them to grow as scholars and allow them to grow as academics and, and, and pursue their, their interests within the field. My name is Mayra Montoyo Chavana and I am a graduate student in the Disaster Studies program at UTRGV. Our labs within the Disaster Studies program are excellent because we have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the professor in a small classroom size, which is perfect. They explain step by step how to work the labs and the, the software that we utilize within the program and makes it easier to understand and grasp the concept. All of our professors are extremely knowledgeable about the whole realm of the disaster studies. They are professionals and they're kind-hearted too. Uh, the professors within the disaster studies program are very knowledgeable at the, about the material that they're teaching. Um, I was a little worried and apprehensive when I was coming into the master's program. I, had, I hadn't been in college for about four to five years. Uh, the professors made all the material uh, easy to understand and uh, I really enjoyed it and I really loved every moment of it. Uh, we have an excellent faculty, an excellent collection of faculty in the Disaster Studies program uh, who have both experience in emergency management as well as experience conducting research. Um, myself, I uh, am a professor of sociology. I study how people respond to warnings. Uh, Dr. Dean Kine, another faculty member in the program, is in geography and studies uh, geospatial trends and disasters, particularly hurricanes. And Dr. David Vladika um, also uses GIS to understand immigration patterns and disasters and the effects of disasters on, on immigrants and their ability to cope. The, the program has several faculty that are active in their own research projects, uh, both funded and unfunded. Uh, the faculty research disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes and floods, both within the valley and outside the valley. Uh, we integrate students into those research projects, especially the thesis students who want to understand how research is actually conducted and want to understand the process of conducting a scientific investigation. So they're well prepared to go on and join PhD programs or they're well prepared to kind of go on and work at research institutions that study disasters. Uh, the Disaster Studies program also incorporates opportunities to go out and actually help in the community. 
uh, in one of my courses, the instructor actually scheduled uh, for the class to go out and meet a uh, emergency manager and a mayor of a city that was affected by Hurricane Harvey. Uh, the class is also going to participate in the cleanup efforts that are taking place in the Rockport, Texas area. Hello, my name is Dean Gain. I'm an assistant professor of our disaster studies. I decided that course to be a service learning course. So I had a partners in Corpus Christi and Rockport area um, to learn from their first-hand experience um, um, in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. I took um, seven of my graduate students and I myself and I we drove to um, Corpus Christi and Rockport area on November 15. On that day we went to the Rockport first and um, we registered ourselves as a volunteers at the um, volunteer reception center um, and we met with the um, volunteer coordinator it is a good opportunity because my student could earn the service learning experience uh, from the community partners. You decide when to shut it down. Like when do you say, okay, EOC is no longer required for this situation? I'll let the boss say. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So oh, basically the planning, I mean, you know, we, we see how it's going, and we, we know if it's winding down or not winding down. My students have different service learning opportunities from uh, various uh, community partners at local, county, state, federal, and non-government organizations. The last community partner who is going to give or share his first experience is Mr. Kevin Hens. He is the representative of the President of the United States of America and um, he will be um, sharing his uh, experience on presidential disaster declaration process. Uh, my name is Kevin Hannes and I'm currently the Federal Coordinating Officer uh, to the State of Texas for Hurricane Harvey uh, response and recovery efforts. Well, I think it's important. Uh, you know, natural disasters, uh, whether uh, it can happen at any time, at any place, uh, man-made disasters, uh, terrorist events can happen at any place, uh, at any time. And our ability to have students educated in the field uh, and then practiced uh, in the field uh, helps us build up capability um, in preparedness. Uh, it helps societies and communities uh, recover from those events uh, more rapidly uh, because they have students uh, and now professionals uh, who are there uh, to help communities, uh, local leadership through that uh, process of, of response and recovery, but more importantly that recovery side. We offer assistantships for students in the program. Uh, we offer research assistantships for students who are interested in research, teaching assistantships for students who are, well, uh, who are interested in teaching, and administrative assistantships for students who are interested in helping out with the program in general. Uh, the assistantships are intended to support students and help them as they pursue their research, as they pursue their studies in the program, um, and allow them to better integrate with the faculty and learn from them. Uh, as emergency management or as, as with a background in emergency management and with a degree in emergency management, uh, there are a wide range of career opportunities. There's a very high demand for emergency managers in Texas at the state, local, and uh, also beyond Texas at the national level, and also at state and local institutions beyond Texas as well. Uh, there are a number of job opportunities in private organizations, uh, businesses, public organizations, hospitals, nonprofit organizations like the VA and the Red Cross. Uh, such that students with, with a background in disaster studies with a degree will, will find many, many, many opportunities for employment upon graduation. Uh, we look for students with a wide range of backgrounds and a wide range of interests. At present, um, any student with any BA can join the program, whether you are a BA in the natural sciences or the social sciences or the humanities, uh, we welcome your application and we look forward to working with you. Um, but beyond that, there, there are no additional requirements. Just an interest in the field, a willingness to work hard, and 
a focus on, on, on doing a great job in the program. Uh, I would recommend UTRGV to a prospect student because the faculty is great, uh, the classes are awesome, and because in the end it will prepare you to go into the field that you want to go into and you're going to feel like you have the necessary skills to tackle any, anything that may come. I would strongly recommend being a student at UTRGV because you will get quality education and exceptional life skills. All of our professors have a high level of professionalism and are experts in their specialties. Also, UTRGV is rich in culture and it is the home to thousands of students who are all working towards a common goal, to be a successful university graduate and make a difference in their community.